This video is intended to provide educational information about sudden cardiac arrest. Please talk to your doctor to learn more about sudden cardiac arrest and its treatment options. Sudden cardiac arrest often refers to when a patient has a sudden arrhythmia. So it could be a very, very fast rhythm, or it could be where the heart stops and where there's sudden loss of consciousness. Very often, sudden cardiac arrest and heart attack are confused. Heart attack is when there is an abrupt reduction in blood flow to the heart. Sudden cardiac arrest being a arrhythmic disease often doesn't present with symptoms of shortness of breath, lightheadedness, chest pain. By definition, the event is sudden. So an individual may be having a normal conversation, participating in normal activities, and all of a sudden has loss of consciousness. The risk factors for sudden cardiac arrest are in several categories. Certainly, the primary one is if you have vulnerability to your heart pump being impaired in several ways. It can be too weak, it can be too thick, and sometimes because of that muscular abnormality of the heart, it becomes vulnerable to these dangerous erratic heartbeats. So if the pump's off, that's a problem. Many cases of sudden cardiac arrest are usually occurring in patients who have pre-existing cardiac disease, such as coronary artery disease or congestive heart failure, or in some cases, inherited cardiac abnormalities that could affect heart function or arrhythmias. And in the vast majority of cases, it occurs in patients who are older and have a lot of these medical issues, but younger patients can sometimes be at risk for sudden cardiac arrest. I would say two categories for symptoms of sudden cardiac death, rapid palpitations, and two would be uh, near passing out, weakness, or total unresponsiveness. Once a cardiac arrest has begun, this is a medical emergency. The patient should be resuscitated and that should be with cardiac compressions and respiration, but to correct the cardiac arrest, an electric shock needs to be delivered to the heart. This can be delivered by ambulance personnel, but also can be delivered using automatic external defibrillators, which are available in many public spaces. Then the onus is on us after that event has occurred and the patient's recovered to prevent that from happening again and if an arrhythmia were to happen again, to be able to have a device that basically serves as a immediate defibrillator internally so that it will get the patient you know, out of the arrhythmia quickly. And in those cases, the patients can expect to have full recovery after the event, even despite having a life-threatening arrhythmia.